Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Thank you for tuning in. Today's topic of discussion is a very important topic. It affects millions of people in this world. Type 2 diabetes and how I'm beating it and getting myself off of insulin. My personal journey, and I'm going to tell you how I did it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. Coach P here. Let me tell you my journey. It all started a year ago at my doctor's office. I went to my doctor and I told my doctor, I'm tired of being on all this diabetes medication. It's not getting any better. I need to change something. All this medication is doing is masking and my doses of insulin are going higher and higher. I went back to my old bodybuilding ways, my old bodybuilding plan and I explained it thoroughly to her. So last January, I started taking the metformin out of the equation. It took me one full year to get off of metformin. I was on 2,000 milligrams a day. I took 500 milligrams out every three to four months until I was completely off. The next drug I was attacking was Trulicity. That took me about four months to taper myself off of the Trulicity. That's a once a week medication. I was still on my Lantus, which is a 24 hour insulin. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. When I started this, my blood glucose or my A1C was 7.8. Last October, I was 6.4. So let's fast forward to present day. March 12th, 25 days ago, I started my attack on getting off of insulin completely. 25 days ago, I started my keto diet and I started it hard. No carbs, no sugar. And when I mean no carbs, absolutely no complex carbs. I ate a lot of vegetables. I ate a lot of fats and I took in 200 grams of protein a day based on my body requirements. Everyone's body requirements are differently. My body weight started at 304 pounds. Today, 25 days into this plan and 22 days of no insulin, I have lost nine pounds of body fat. But my goal isn't just the nine pounds of body fat. My goal is the A1C number. I want to get my A1C from 6.4 below 5.8. And at the end of this month, I go and see my doctor to get those numbers checked. The positive side effect to this, here we are April 7th coming up. Today is April 6th. By the end of the month, I might lose another nine pounds. Oh my God, really? I can handle that. I like that. Bikini season is coming, right? No, just kidding. But honestly, you can do the keto diet. Everyone gets so frustrated with the keto diet because they don't understand the keto diet. I've tested my blood sugar every day three or four times, checking my blood glucose level. After three days of full keto, when my blood sugar came below 200, I stopped the insulin. And I took all the complex carbs out on the 12th. By the time March 18th came in, my blood glucose levels were going down to like the 140, 150 range because my body was burning up all the stored glucose it had from all the shit that I was eating before I really got serious again. So now here I am, 22 days of no insulin and my blood sugar today, after a 12 ounce ribeye and a double Caesar salad, no croutons, at the Outback Steakhouse with a buddy of mine today for lunch, two hours later, my blood sugar was 98. That is an all time low for me now, 22 days, no insulin, 25 days, full keto. Before the shooting of this video, I checked my blood sugar just to see where I was at. And let me tell you what I had for dinner. You guys would think I'm freaking kidding. I had a hamburger. I had two hot dogs. And I also had Castleberry chili with some cheddar cheese on it. That was my dinner. That is all keto. There's no complex carbs. There's no beans in this chili. My blood sugar was 104 before the filming of this video. So am I doing something wrong? I don't think so. Am I missing any meals? Not me, pal. I don't miss any meals, you know? 
Doesn't happen. How do you think I got this big? I don't miss any meals. So right now my body weight's 295. I've lost nine pounds of body fat in 25 days. I'm 22 days insulin free. You have to understand the effects of food on your blood sugar. Complex carbs, when you eat them, raise your blood sugar up and it carries them in your body for hours. Hours before your blood sugar starts to dip and go back down. When you eat protein, protein goes up and after a couple of hours, your blood sugar goes down because everything you ingest in your body is going to raise your blood sugar. And when I take in my healthy fats and by healthy fats, I mean my avocados, olives, cashews, peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, your blood sugar goes up just a little bit and it goes down very, very quickly because there's no complex carbs in any of these things. There's no effect on your blood sugar. So the way I came up with my formula for my protein is it's real simple. You've heard me talk about it in previous videos. My body weight times 0.365 gave me a number of protein grams per day. I just divided that up into my meals. Four meals a day, five meals a day, six meals a day, however many meals you're going to eat. The rest of my filler food was stuff like cucumbers, tomatoes, scallions, green vegetables, green beans, spinach. My fats were like I just mentioned, the avocados, the olives. I ain't missing anything. I'm not missing anything at all. I'm enjoying my foods. The only thing that's not included in this, I don't eat bread. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat rice. I don't eat any of that stuff. No potatoes. When I reach my goal on my A1C numbers, which I'm looking at, hopefully getting it to 5.8 here in the next blood work, I'm going to reach the goal where I want to maintain where I'm at. And in order to do that, I have to add a little bit of complex carbs to my diet to maintain where I'm at. I might lose another 10 pounds or 15 pounds of body fat by then. Hey, that's a win-win situation. But if I want to level that body weight off where I'm not losing any more, I need to introduce a little bit of complex carbs. And I do it at 25 milligrams a day, not a meal, a day. And I take those carbs in only in the morning with breakfast. That's it, 25 grams. And in two weeks, I look on the scale to see where I'm at. If I'm happy with my weight, those are the only carbs I take in if I plan on taking any carbs in at all. Hey, I'm Italian. I love my sandwiches. I love my bread. I love my pasta. I don't miss it. Can I have it if I want it? Absolutely. You can have anything you want once in a while. But as long as I'm on this plan, I'm focused and I'm dedicated to getting my A1C numbers below 5.8. If I can do it, and those of you who know me personally know I love to eat, if I can do it, you can do it. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I got a book on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. 40 years of my knowledge, wrapped up into a 28 to 30 page book. My brother and I are on the front cover. It tells you all the things that you ever wanted to say about things that go on in the gym that you never had the balls enough to say, and I said it. It is what it is. It's a funny read. It's getting five-star reviews. I'm also a product rep for Gene Pro. Gene Pro is my go-to protein supplement. It is made for diabetics. No flavor, no sugar, no complex carbs. Mixes in any beverage. It does not elevate my blood sugar. It does it just like any other food I would take that's a protein. Elevates it a little bit and it goes down. There's no sugar. It's made for people on dialysis. So that tells you how good this product is. It's a win-win situation for me, and it could be a win-win situation for you. Use Coach P in the discount box to get yourself 15% off. So until next time, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.